we inhabit a universe of breathtaking complexity, from the swirling grandeur of galaxies to the intricate dance of subatomic particles, we observe patterns, symmetries and a profound sense of order. But what is the source of this order? Is it an inherent property of reality or something far more profound, a hidden language, a cosmic cipher waiting to be deciphered? Consider this. Every moment of our lives is surrounded by systems we take for granted. The beating of our hearts follows a rhythm. The motion of planets obeys strict mathematical laws. Even the snowflake, a fleeting winter wonder, holds perfect geometric patterns. If nature is speaking in a language, what is the source of its vocabulary and grammar? From the perfection of natural patterns to the fine-tuning of physical constants, the universe whispers of order and design. Is this simply mathematics at work, or could it be evidence of a higher intelligence, what some might call God? And more importantly, what is it trying to say? Consider the sunflower. Its seeds are arranged in spirals following a precise mathematical sequence, the Fibonacci sequence. This progression, where each number is the sum of the two before it, reveals itself not only in sunflowers but everywhere. The elegant spiral of a nautilus shell, the symmetry of pine cones. Even hurricanes, which rage in chaotic fury, form spirals that echo Fibonacci's silent order. In the 13th century, Leonardo of Pisa, known as Fibonacci, observed this sequence while studying the breeding patterns of rabbits. What started as a practical exercise became a revelation. Imagine Fibonacci in his quiet study, unaware that his discovery would echo through time, becoming a key to understanding the universe's architecture. Centuries later, in the mid-20th century, Alan Turing, the father of modern computing, became consumed by these patterns. Turing, who cracked codes during World War II, turned his attention to nature. As his health declined, he became obsessed with the Fibonacci spirals in plants, pine cones, daisies, and sunflowers. For Turing, math wasn't an invention of humans. It was nature's silent voice, a code woven into every leaf shell and storm. And then there's the golden ratio. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci used it as a guide for beauty. Architects designed cathedrals and temples with it. But this proportion doesn't just appear in human creations. It's embedded in our DNA, in the proportions of our bones, and even in the spirals of galaxies. If this harmony repeats everywhere, from the smallest seashell to the grandest galaxy, can we still call it coincidence? What if it's evidence of something deeper, an invisible blueprint that governs creation itself? When physicist Fred Hoyle discovered the fine-tuning necessary for carbon to form in stars, he remarked, It's as if the universe knew we were coming. Does this fine-tuning suggest randomness or the fingerprints of a cosmic designer? What if, as Turing believed, math is not just a tool, but the universe's way of speaking to us? And here's a question. If nature's patterns are a message, are we capable of understanding it? Or are we like ants crawling across a masterpiece, unable to see the grandeur all around us? The universe runs on rules. Laws so precise that even a microscopic deviation would tear reality apart. The speed of light, 299,792,458 meters per second. Planck's constant, which governs the behavior of particles. The gravitational force fine-tuned to allow stars to ignite and atoms to bind. Imagine a room of dials, each dial representing one of these constants. If you turned any dial even slightly, the universe would collapse. Stars would never form, or matter itself would break apart. The improbability of this balance arising by chance alone is staggering. In the 1970s, physicist Fred Hoyle made an extraordinary discovery. He found that carbon, the element that forms the basis of all life requires a very specific resonance during its creation inside stars. If the conditions were off by even a fraction, life would not exist. Hoyle, an atheist at the time, was so struck by this discovery that he remarked, the universe is a put-up job. And then there's James Gates. While studying string theory, Gates discovered something even more mind-boggling. 
Embedded within the equations that describe fundamental particles were error-correcting codes, the same type of codes used in modern computer systems to detect and fix errors. This raises a chilling question. If the universe behaves like a computer program, is it because it is a program? Are these constants the work of a cosmic programmer? Scientists today, using tools like the Large Hadron Collider, continue to probe these laws, looking for anomalies. Anything that might hint at the nature of this fine-tuning. What if they uncover a glitch? Would that be proof of a program or simply a clue that there's still more we don't understand? The question lingers. Who or what set the dials? Is the universe fine-tuned by a cosmic creator or is it a product of deeper, undiscovered laws of physics? Quantum physics reveals a universe stranger than anything we can imagine. One of its most baffling phenomena is quantum entanglement. Two particles can become entangled, and no matter how far apart they are, even separated by galaxies, their states remain connected. Measuring one particle instantly determines the state of the other, defying the limits of space and time. In the 1970s, physicist John Clauser performed the first experiments to test entanglement. His findings stunned the world. Particles truly were connected instantaneously across vast distances. In 2015, scientists at Delft University went even further. They entangled two photons and separated them by 1.3 kilometers. When one photon was measured, the other reacted instantly. How is this possible? Nothing can travel faster than light. So how do particles communicate instantly? Some scientists believe entanglement hints at a deeper layer of reality, one where space and time are irrelevant. Imagine two entangled coins flipped on opposite sides of the Earth. If one lands heads, the other is instantly tails. It's as if the universe operates outside the limits of classical physics. But what does this mean for us? If particles can remain connected across vast distances, what about humans? Have you ever felt an inexplicable connection with someone far away? as if your thoughts or emotions were entangled. Could quantum entanglement hint at a deeper connection between everything in the universe? It challenges us to ask, is separation an illusion? Is everything, matter, energy, even consciousness, woven together in an unseen web? Despite its precision, the universe occasionally misbehaves. Dark energy, a mysterious force, is causing the universe to expand faster and faster. It doesn't fit neatly into our models of gravity, and no one knows why. These anomalies, dark energy, quantum fluctuations, even unexplained gaps in physical laws, are like errors in a program. Are they glitches, evidence that we live in a simulation? Or are they simply clues that we're only scratching the surface of the universe's design? Across cultures, ancient wisdom has hinted at unseen forces. In Hindu cosmology, Maya describes reality as an illusion. In Chinese philosophy, Wu Wei reflects the invisible flow of existence. Could these ideas have been ancient attempts to describe what we now call the anomalies of physics? Perhaps the universe is not a rigid machine, but a living system, constantly evolving, recalibrating and surprising us. We have explored nature's perfect geometry, the finely tuned constants of existence, and the quantum mysteries that challenge space and time. Each discovery brings us closer to the universe's hidden language, a language written in numbers, patterns, and connections. Perhaps the cosmic cipher isn't meant to be fully decoded. Perhaps it's a reminder that we are not mere observers, but active participants in this unfolding symphony. Whether we call it God, a simulation, or natural laws, the universe appears crafted with unimaginable precision. The question isn't just what the code tells us about reality, but what it reveals about our place within it. If the universe is a program, what role will you play? Will you question its mysteries, embrace its beauty, or seek to rewrite its code? The universe is whispering its secrets. Are you ready to listen? The questions we've explored today invite us to reflect on the deepest mysteries of existence. Is the universe's order a code, a program, or simply nature's language. Share your thoughts below and let's decode the cosmos together. Join us next time on Mystic Q Time where we continue to explore the unknown.